Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. It's a Friday morning. It is technically the first week of the girls' summer vacation from school, but they're doing a little bit of a summer camp, which has been nice because it kind of occupies their day for a few hours and uh, gives me a few hours to do things like grocery shop or anything that I kind of like to do on my own. I'm about to go on a little nature walk. I just located my little um, earbuds, like my little wireless headphones, so I can listen to music. I was using, I had, like they're actually, they're like JBL um, actual headphones, which are kind of nice, but sometimes they kind of make like my ears warm. So I, so I found these. I'm mainly just coming on to check in and give a little bit of a McGinn life update. You might have been able to tell that something was a little like different or off, or you may have been wondering why Gary was a little bit more present and around in my past definitely two to three videos, maybe even the past four videos. That's because he had a few weeks off of work. He left his last job. And then just a few days ago on Wednesday, he started a new job and I'm really happy for him. And I'm excited for him to be in a new space and a new environment and to be starting something different and new. And yeah, I'm proud of him. He's such a hard worker. He, I think he has like a really, uh, I know I'm his wife, but so of course I would say this, but I really, really think he has like a really, really good work ethic and he definitely has a lot of experience. He's been in the restaurant industry probably since he was like four, 14 or 15, like young and worked his way all the way up and a, lots of sorts of different experience and working in different countries, Ireland and Spain and America. And he actually worked on a world cruise ship and in casinos and restaurants and yeah. He's done a lot. He definitely has a lot of experience and I really do that genuinely think he has a really, really good work ethic and I'm really proud of that man. I really am. So that's our little update. He's starting a new job. He will be, he doesn't work in town anymore, which I think is kind of good because man, sometimes the, the traffic going into town, I don't know. I'm not the one doing it. And he, he seems to like not mind too much overall, but like even the occasional time that I would drive into town, I just feel like it's kind of an annoying drive. I think that's all I was going to say. Guys, I really liked how my last two videos turned out. And, and you know, they were a little bit different than just my daily, day-to-day -day life, or I'm just sitting in my kitchen saying what I did for the day or showing you my groceries. And I was saying in my last video where I was walking around kind of the cliff area, like the cliff walk area of Hope, that um, I was feeling inspired by a couple of YouTubers that I watch. I want to um, step up my YouTube game a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go for a walk. my little walk and then I also stopped at Mr. Price and Deals. They are just affordable stores in Ireland. I, I kind of like popping it especially for like cleaning products and stuff. Anyways, so I'll show you so briefly what I got. This little drawer unit. It's, it's a little like flimsy and not the greatest quality but I'm just gonna put it in my room and use it for like lotions and makeup and skincare or anything like that. And then I just got some cleaning things. I haven't had a fabric laundry stain remover since we lived here actually. I don't know how I haven't first one yet <laughs> but washing machine cleaner. I try to do that every so often. I got this. I got it. It says it can go down drains. And that's why I got it. Cause sometimes I think like our kitchen sink is like, I don't know, gives off like a little odor. I think I'm sensitive to smells, but whatever. I smell it. And I do try to keep the kitchen sink clean. So anyways, got myself a new toothbrush. Got myself a couple nail polishes. I definitely needed this top coat. And then this, cause for my toes, I should say. Cause I've, I get my nails done at the salon, but. And a little dehumidifier. I don't know. I'm gonna put this somewhere. I might put it in one of our laundry um, wardrobes over there to absorb moisture, but I have, I showed I got a couple of them. I actually need to get replacement tabs already. That's what I got. Hey guys, it's a Sunday afternoon. Kids and I are basically just chilling out. We just ran to the grocery store. Gary's at work. That's one little bit of a downside of him starting the new job. 
is he will be working weekends opposed to having had weekends off, both Saturday and Sunday, for the past several months. But being in the restaurant industry, working weekends is just kind of something you have to put up with. It was actually kind of a lucky scenario that he even got to the point that he was at. For the past several months to have Saturday and Sunday off, it was, it's, it's like that has never happened. You know, he's been in the restaurant industry his whole life. We've been together 10 years. And in the 10 years that I've been with him, that's literally never happened. I mean, he's had maybe for if we had like a wedding on a Saturday or obviously uh, specific one off scenarios, he might have had a Saturday and Sunday off, but never consistently. It's okay, but I will miss him having Saturdays and Sundays off. I just completed a little 14 minute um, YouTube beginner yoga video. I bought this yoga mat from Penny's seven euro. I bought it like a couple months ago. I think maybe no, Actually, more than a couple months ago. Um, yeah, but I bought it with the intention of just starting my little yoga habit at home. For the past couple of weeks, I have been getting out my yoga mat, not every day, but more consistently than I had before. And I've been doing, I just searched beginner yoga on YouTube. It was probably like five videos that I've been switching in between. I like the one that I just did today. I actually like it the best. It was 14 minutes. If you're interested, I can put it down in the description box. I like how I feel afterwards. I'm just doing very, very, very low and slow. And it feels good. I feel like even like when I just take a moment to like stretch my body, um, something that, that's so simple and like an obvious good habit, but you kind of forget to do it. But once I do even just have really, really good stretch, I'm like, oh my gosh, like why am I not better about doing that? But I had my steam mop out today. Did a really good clean of the floors. Hydrangea check in. If you follow me on Instagram, you are not surprised at how much I love showing off these beautiful hydrangeas. I don't know if I actually said this in a video, but yeah, I always said for years that I wanted to have hydrangeas in our back garden and the people that lived here before us had some planted and they're just looking beautiful. So it makes me, makes me really happy. Hey guys, it's a Tuesday morning. Gary has the day off of work. So we went out for breakfast. I am about to go get my nails done. They're shorter than normal, if you happen to pay attention to my nails in my videos, which many of you probably don't. I kind of pay attention to nails because I love getting my nails done. I love nails and different shapes and designs and colors and everything. So I do happen to notice those sort of things. But yeah, um, a few weeks ago now, I went in and had my acrylic set taken off. I had had acrylics for a couple of years. And then even then I, I had a small break because of COVID and stuff. But even before that, I had them for a couple years. So anyways, I had been wanting to try Biab. It stands for builder in a bottle. And just basically, supposedly, it's supposed to be a little bit better for your natural nail. And everyone at the salon I go to seems to get it. It seems to be getting really popular. So that's what I did. The thing about Biab is unlike acrylics, you can't do it extensions. So obviously my nails can grow out and gain length, but I started with my natural short nail length. So these are about three weeks with this. I loved this color. I'm usually a really neutral girl, but I saw something have this color and I was like, I have to give that a try. And I really loved it. And I think I'm gonna go for another kind of bold, bright summery color as well. Even though I kind of want to do my classic French white tips, but yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna do that. I love getting my nails done. It's like, it's just my thing even like these are about three weeks and they've held up super well I probably could push it out a little bit more especially with the cost of nails but I just love getting my nails done it's, just, it's my little treat I love switching it up even though these look nice still um I love picking something new so I'll show you what I get afterwards here comes dad that's okay <coughs> keep going that's okay. The people like when you walk in. They want to see what Gary's up to. I will, uh, I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Back with some new nails. I was very indecisive about the color, but actually the girl next to me was getting this done and it looked nice. And it was kind of like along the lines of what I was maybe gonna go for. So that's what I did. It's nice, like I was typing, not that I do a lot of typing, but I was typing on the computer and it's so nice to be able to function 
with short, like kind of regular natural length nails. I made this coffee last night and put it in the fridge so it can be ready for me to be iced coffee. Oh, oh. So I wanted to say, because while I was out, I was kind of near my dentist and I meant to kind of come on the vlog and say something about this because I'm actually curious of other people's perspective, but it might be unique in that um, because I'm comparing my dental experience, specifically a cleaning, a dental cleaning. I'm comparing it to what I would experience in the States um, compared to how it was in Ireland. So I'm kind of wondering if other, like if you live in Ireland, it might be hard for you to relate because it's like all you know. But yes, I'm gonna be extra and shake my iced coffee <laughs> like a cocktail. Um, but yeah, so basically when I went to the dentist, I had, so I went to the dentist because I had a sore tooth, a sore area in my mouth. It was basically my wisdom tooth area back here. I had these two removed and I still have the top and the bottom on this side. Well, I won't get into that too much, but it all ended up being okay. I think something was just irritated, irritating my gum area back there because essentially my wisdom tooth is not fully grown. It's like, I think it's impacted, partially impacted. Okay, that was good. I was just mainly hoping they didn't recommend that I needed to get my wisdom teeth, th those two removed, because it's like obviously not a great experience. But when I was there, she was like, do you want me to just go ahead and do a tooth cleaning while you're here? And especially because it might be nice to have that area nice and clean. So I said, yeah, sure. Because my first visit that I talked about a couple, well, probably like four or five vlogs ago, a couple months ago, I went to the dentist and it ended up just being kind of an inter introductory type of appointment. I have to be careful with oat milk and digestive no, I'm really extra about my coffee. <laughs> Listen, the whole entire point that I'm trying to make and the reason that I brought out my first dentist appointment too a little bit is because at that appointment, he said, I'm gonna go ahead and clean your teeth really quick. And you guys, it took him like three minutes and he mainly just did the teeth that you could see, but I kind of like brushed it off because I was like, I don't even really know. Gary booked this appointment and I think it was more of an intro introductory thing. I don't know. It wasn't a, an official teeth cleaning, I didn't think. So I like kind of let that go. Ooh. I'm moving this. I'm moving this. Let me put this away and then I'll finish talking. So the second time around, although I didn't make an official appointment for a tooth teeth cleaning, I was just going in there to say, hey, this area is bothering me. She did ask, do you want a teeth cleaning? And I said, yeah, because I didn't get it the first time. Like I thought I was going to, which was okay. Or I thought that I might. Um, the tooth cleaning lasted like five minutes. It felt like it just in comparison to the States, it felt a lot quicker and less thorough essentially. And I'm wondering, is it always that way? Or is it my dentist in particular? Or is it because I didn't officially go in and schedule for the tooth cleaning? But the one problem there is I paid the full price for the teeth cleaning because part of me after she was done and she was like taking off her gloves I was like I didn't actually felt like she did this side so in my head I was like well maybe she she just meant she'd clean up this side because that tooth back there was bothering me and maybe there's the gums needed an extra cleaning so yeah but then when I got to the desk and I paid the full price I was like wait a minute my point is is our teeth cleanings in Ireland just less thorough and a lot quicker than they are in the States. But either way, I am going to try a new dentist because between my first two visits, I, I, I guess I just didn't feel thoroughly like um, imp impressed or I don't know. I didn't feel like I, I was entirely happy with my visits. Um, but I mean, they were nice and stuff. When I got home, I'm like, I really felt like she didn't even really get to that side of my mouth, which is so weird. And then I even called back later and asked like, Hey, I was just wondering earlier when I paid, I wanted to double check, was I paying for a full regular teeth cleaning? And she said, yeah, you know? So anyways, does anyone have any feedback? Let me know in the comments. And also I do think, no, I'm pretty positive I am going to try a different dentist. Um, Like I said, like the people were nice and it, you know, it wasn't like a bad experience, but it was just definitely quite different when it comes to teeth cleaning in comparison to what I've experienced all throughout my life in the States. Okay guys, oh, we're crooked. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. I have some dishes to do. I think 
This will probably be a long enough vlog. I've already started editing some of it. Not that you guys care about things like that. Sorry, I feel like this vlog is a little bit boring, especially as I said earlier, earlier in the video, I really liked my last two and it's more of the content like I would like to do opposed to just these chit chatty at home basic vlogs that I make. But yeah, but you got a life update and you got a dental visit comparison. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye. <laughs> I guess this is my version of a blooper. I always think it's cute if people put like little bloopers at the end of the video and I always think I might, but I don't because whatever. But I'm finally coming on to say this because I can't even tell you guys how many times I accidentally record a video in slow-mo. Um, and it's not too big of a deal because with the iMovie, with the editing, you can adjust the speed of your videos anyways. So I can still use the clip. It's, it's slightly annoying though. So I do get annoyed at myself, but anyways, I just had to share it because there's so many times that I do. So I don't know if there's any little funny bits that seem off. Maybe it's because I've had to speed it back up, but just part. 144 of me accidentally recording a video in slow-mo.